So this is a mini Pencrest box fan. Yesterday I made a video of the full-size 20-inch one, and this is basically a smaller version of it, so let me take it out of the box. It appears to be pretty well packaged, so let's hope there's no shipping damage, because you know how the postal service can be. I'm going to finish taking this stuff out of here and then I'll show it. The seller even made a little cutout and this piece of, styro piece of styrofoam for the handle and the switch knob. That's nice. Still got bubble wrap on it, but it looks like everything arrived intact. It's the same depth as the full-size 20-inch fan, but it's just smaller. The cabinet is the same depth as the 20 inch full size version. And it's got stand holes. This one is a Pencrest 21. The full size one I got is a Pencrest 50. This one's two speed. The grills, they're not perfect, but uh, they're not yellowed or anything. and. The only broken slat is right there, and most of it is still there, so that's good. And the back is in pretty good shape. There's one missing. This has the General Electric motor. It is very similar to the motor in this Lakewood HV12 first generation. These are glued together so you can't easily take them apart but they do have oil ports and this one is the same way the oil port is right there for the back bearing this motor has a deeper stator and it's deeper in general because it's more powerful that one is not quite as deep a little dusty inside but it's not really that big of a deal you can get one of those air duster cans that are used for cleaning computer keyboards and stuff or if you have an air compressor you can just use that to blow the dust out of it that's what I'll be using so, yeah, this thing is in pretty good shape nothing on the bottom as far as stickers are concerned here's a sticker inside of it though See if we can see what that says. Is a model number 9721A. I know you probably can't see that, but I can see it. It's rated at 1.4 amps. Inside of it looks pretty clean. So that's good. The blades are clean and shiny. Let's turn it this way. Got hooked up to the kilowatt meter, and I will start it up on high speed. Blows a lot of air for a little box fan. It does shake a bit on high, but it's not that bad. If you put your hand on it, it pretty much stops. Let's go down to low. The amperage went way down on low speed. It's only pulling 0 0.79, 66 watts. doesn't seem to shake as much on low, but it sure moves a lot of air. That's pretty crazy how much air that little fan moves.
And this is a four pole motor in here. See how quickly it stops. It's not bad at all. Still gonna oil it and blow the dust out of it. Let's, uh, let's do a startup sound. Alright. I'm gonna take this apart so I can see what the amp rating on the motor itself is. And uh, here comes low speed. kind of has an interesting whine to it when it's running. I'll let it stop and we'll see what the amp draw is coming up to high. Now what was that rated at on that sticker? Okay, it's rated at 1.4. So we were within uh, that sticker at least. The rating on that sticker. Now let's go up to high. I'm going to take this apart now and give it a clean up, blow the dust out of the motor and oil it. Okay, both grills are off. Cord goes in on the side on these little box fans rather than through the grill like it does on the full size. And there's the motor information. Yeah, it's rated at 1.4 amps on the motor too. Just like it is down there so yeah, it's not that bad inside a little bit of chipped paint and rust but still in pretty good shape looks like this is sort of bent so it's not facing straight forward like it should be I don't know if I even want to bother trying to fix that or if that's gonna mess things up yeah that's it's really thick metal I don't know how that someone would have bent that Blade is very clean, but I'm still going to take it off just so I can get to that motor better. Surprisingly, the blade actually came right off the shaft. I didn't have to use that puller. And let's take a look at the inside of the motor. Looks pretty good. Windings don't look burnt or anything, so that's good. Seems to spin pretty freely. Washers are in good shape, it doesn't go in and out too much. Check the amp draw with the motor unloaded. And a little low. Pretty funny that it draws pretty much the same amperage with the blade off. And there's the front oil port. So what I'm going to do is blow the dust out of it first, and I'm going to oil it. All right, this motor should be pretty much dust-free at this point. Spray it in through the front, and I spray it in through the back. Yeah, it looks pretty. Looks pretty clean in there to me. Got. A zoom spot right here for the bearings. Just uh, basically go in the oil ports. Blades back on. I'm gonna start it up, let it run for a while. I'm gonna leave the guards off for now so we can see what, how warm the motor gets because I'm just curious. And I'll start it up. switch. The big ones don't have that, so that's interesting. That's what our amp draw is at right now. It's been running for a while. Do our temperature check. That's what the stator is at right now. I'm going to put 
put the grills back on. I uh, got the blades in pretty much perfect alignment just to try and combat that vibration. And uh, I'll turn around high. It still vibrates. I don't know, I may try to fix it a little bit further, but it's not that bad. It really doesn't do much on high, it's just low that it kind of vibrates. But even that's not that bad. So, I might continue working on this a little bit, or, I, or I'll just put the grills back on, I don't know. Spin down time is real good, and the motor's nice and clean. Yeah, I'll give it one more run with the grills on. <clears throat> Doesn't shake as much with the grills on. Even on low, those grills add a lot of stability. So that's good.